Hi guys, welcome back. Tringo. It is episode five of Days of the Walking Dead, and it's called Devon. After what happened in the last episode, uh, even though it doesn't even matter in this one, I'm guessing. Yeah, the last episode was the one with uh, Dr. Everett and Amy. I was kind of not disappointed with the episode, but I liked the theme about the science behind uh, the migration of the herd and that stuff. But yeah, the, the ending was a bit, you know, anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah, it was annoying. I really wanted her to live. And I maybe wanted her to take over his science. Um, I thought he was yeah. for sure dead. But I mean, it, yeah, it's okay. I mean, like the first three episodes were so quirky and fun and... Uh, interesting well apart from the alpha episode uh yeah. that one was very new it's, it's all interesting it's all different ways of looking at things so i don't i'm never bored um no with anything we see from the walking dead it's all kind of interesting um uh, we'll just say that um when someone messaged me and said that uh the guy the bald guy with the beard um uh, it's not me someone said oh, i know him from somewhere <laughs> someone put the comment <laughs> the mirror question mark very funny. Oh, yeah. So, yeah um, that was really but no, funny. it's Goose from Top Gun. And I went, no, 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 no. And I Googled it. It is. It was him? <laughs> yeah, it's actually him. <laughs> um, which blew my mind because, like, Goose was, like, really slender and stuff like that. But this guy was, like, like stacked a bit. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea what we're going into on this next episode. I can't wait to find out. Do you want to watch it, Trin? Yes, please. All right, let's just shut up and get into the episode. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's what? Has it got no mouth? Oh, it's, it's right. burnt shut. I will see. That was French, okay. What the hell? That his leg? Devon, Devon, stay away! Ella! Wait, girl, I'm not gonna hurt you. This is interesting. I'm not sure I want to be... This looks like a witch hunt. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say the same. What? Murderer. Okay. I do love these themed intros. They're really cool on Tales, yeah. Hopefully they do that for Dead City and everything. Why are they looking for you? It's in your head. Well, I should hope so. Otherwise, you're dealing with whispers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. This is really creepy. But, yeah, I think, I think he's actually killed them, but he, he must have done something. He's handcuffed. Yeah, because she said he's here. So. Just not sure what's in his head, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, what's real? What's not real? I mean, it's walking now. I thought he killed it with his leg. It sounded like his, the, the skull crushed. <laughs> yeah. When he hit it, but okay. <laughs> yeah, it's looking. Nine, seven. I mean, for sure that's in his head. But then again, we've seen in the show, like the the repeating of time. I, I'm. Yeah. yeah. Three, nine, seven. Oh, okay. Oh. It's the house number. There you go. Oh, uh, oh, they cut his. Oh, we're not going to see a bob thing, are we? Oh no. Oh, unless he was bit, it's infected. They had to chop his leg off. Well. Where's your leg? We saved what we could. That's annoying me how blurry that's always being. Yeah. I mean, he got a pretty bad injury on his head, so. <laughs> that's smiling? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like, yeah, walking with him. Probably it's in his head. And it... <laughs> this noir soundtrack as well like it's very french flavor yeah yeah <laughs> it's very interesting though i mean i'm really in I'm, I'm loving the fact that they can really go to town on these that's his shoe i think this is where you killed me I well he's a murderer apparently so and he's handcuffed That's one of the women, isn't it? Yeah, wearing the same clothes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Whole town's looking for him, though. Did they fall in love? I think so. Can I ask what happened? We went beyond the wall. Arno's father didn't come back. Arno almost didn't come back either. 
Beyond the wall. Oh, okay. Boundary of the town. Scar's worse than the wound. Sure words. I definitely know him from something. Yeah, me too. You're doing really good with your leg. You'll be marching off in no time. Vera? Did you die? That's why he say he's saying I'll see, I'll see. <laughs> oh, okay. Amanda. Okay, so it's her. Did he kill her? Yeah, why why would he be handcuffed? We decide who we are. Is that easy, huh? Tivera. You will see. You will see. Try again. Yeah, th these are the flashbacks are in this old reel to reel cine film kind of style. And he's like probably trying to remember himself, so that's why it's a little bit Fuzzy. weird. Yeah. I'm liking this one to be honest so far. It's like he knows this place and he's acting on, you know, I don't know, muscle memory. Do you speak French? Pick up some basics. Are we in Montreal? Good question. Where are we? Maine, actually. We're descendants of the French. We build a gate in the woods and locks ourselves in. Right, so yeah, beyond the wall. I ran into a not so nice guy in the woods and I wouldn't shoot. He did. Oh. Uh. If you'd shot him, you might have your leg. A murder shouldn't be the only option. Alright. Well, it doesn't sound like he's a murderer when he says something like that. Some people shouldn't be alive in the first place, no? With the way things are? No. Wow, okay. So what's in Montreal that will make your life worth saving? No, answer that! Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> oh, uh, it's all fruits. Strawberry, banana, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, lemon. Is he hearing all the, the dead talking? Because, it, look, handcuffed again. It's a kid. That's the boy in the pictures, okay. Actually, there were all kids in those pictures. Yeah, there was lots of them. And then that little girl that found him. Sometimes murder is mercy. Oh, no. I'm starting to worry or wonder if he's actually dead, you know. Yeah, same. I'm like. I don't, I mean, that hit on his head is really, really bad. Looks really bad. I can't wait to find out. It's so interesting. I haven't seen you all day. Yeah, I've been busy. Have you gotten strawberries? You said you wish you had some, so I went looking for some. Interesting. Yeah. Even though I know you're going to put them in the salad, which is straight up crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda is starting dinner soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm headed to the school. I should get some rest and get dry. Kiss already. Well, you can tell they're into each other. And then all went to shit. We are going to give you a chance to do the right thing. <laughs> tell us before you die. You don't, you don't understand. I know this guy, but I can't under remember his name. It's like the Salem Witch Trials, isn't it? Yeah. I would never kill someone unless they made me do it if someone was trying to kill me. She saved you and you killed her. Can yeah, we talking can, about Amanda. Yeah, can we see it? She discovered where you are. That stalks our walls. Where are they? I don't think he did any of this. I think Amanda is doing, did all of this. Killed the kids. What's happening? Nora. Nora, what's happening? Where is he? Wait, we found a boy who was already a walker downstairs, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, no. we, 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 no, no. We. Oh, does that mean vote to kill him? Okay. Oh, I didn't kill your children. Amanda did. Okay. If you do this, yeah, you are the murderers. Just stop. Well, if Amanda did it, why we? He was handcuffed to her, wasn't he? Amanda! Wait, wait. He recognized one of them. Wow, this is all messed up. I want to know. Stop. Stop. He's not listening. <laughs> Everyone's telling you to stop. He's like, uh, nah, not listening. Nah. <laughs> not listening. <laughs> well, not everyone, obviously, but you'd be like, wait, what? Are we sure? <laughs> yeah, some of them want him to stop, some of them don't. Where is he going? Yeah, that's suspect. I'd be interested to know how they got handcuffed together. Someone was trying to get rid of them. Yeah. Like, she was doing it, and he knew she was doing it, and they tried to get rid of him. And I feel like her son 
doesn't really li like love his mom. Oh, she took care of us and, you know, know that he was not crying at all. Oh, look. look oh, he's there alive. you go. It was very, very bad of you to run away down. You don't know what to be afraid of when everything is scary. You know, whenever I made a mistake or got scared or nervous. I killed someone? My mom, she would... Um, yeah, there. I was... She would always make me feel better with a treat. A treat or... These, they give you good dreams. Which one do you want? Fraise? Banane? Oh, okay. oh right. That worried me then, because we saw the walker tied to the pole, and I thought, no, it was a real kid. <laughs> this place is not for you. This this place is not for anyone. Men. Sometimes murder is mercy. <laughs> so she thinks she's saving the kids from being a walker by just killing them straight out? Yeah, I think so. Right, handcuffed together. That's how it happens. And then he just murders the hell out of her. Oh! Oh no, it was an accident! That's how she got her mouth... Melting her face. Sealed together, okay. So he had to run into the woods and pass out? I mean, he hit his head somehow, is it? Is, uh, no, he hasn't hit his head yet. My mouth! Uh oh. Uh, maybe he will hit his head. Yeah, no. here we go. No. Bye -bye. No. Wow, that would have hurt so much. So he just hit him and ran? Yeah, didn't finish him off. But the one who was running away with the hat on, that was obviously him. And then he followed him to the cabin. Yeah. Saw the boy. And then we ended up back, didn't we? Going back in time again. Okay. <laughs> Nora seemed nice anyway. Yeah, Nora was okay. So the other family was a little bit creepier. Shh, yeah, it's okay. One more bite and you'll feel better, I promise. One more bite? Giving him drugs or something? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, look all the look all the bottles of pills. I'm saving them from the awful things that they'll do. The things that'll turn them. Sometimes murder is this, this is right out of a Resident Evil game. <laughs> yeah. She'd almost lost me once. She couldn't stand to lose me again. To kill me would be to kill herself. Murder shouldn't be the only option. You've got a bat, bro. You could take him out right now. Well, in this world, you have to fight for what little you have. He obviously doesn't want to hurt a kid. That's your cousin. No. Amanda would have let you kill Nora's son. She would have done anything for me. She loved me. Oh, no. We have a, a hatch filled with uh, walkers, a pit. Pit with dead kids, apparently, I think. Probably a collection, yeah. Oh, two. Two kids. Two. You can't stop me either. You have to kill me. And you don't have it in you. Involved. Yeah, hopefully he does have it in him. But it ain't up to me. Nora! Nora! No, no. That would be cool if Nora could do it. I'm gonna kill Nora's son. Yeah, huh, it's okay. N Nora will be fine. Just spare me, please. Gah. Gah. I'll tell her what happened. Yeah, before the other one talks. Oh, this guy. He'd be like, I found him. I found where he put the uh, kids. There's, there's, there's your kids. Stopped him. Ah, thank I you. Know he's bad. No, he's lying. I believe the kid. Hey, Nora, look at him. He's confused. Don't come close to us. No, Murderer. And you nearly crushed me. You would have killed yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. Or would my memory be lost? My name erased. Gotta be honest, I didn't think it was him anyway. Even though we didn't know what happened, I was like thinking, he... no, no. I, didn't, I didn't get it. I didn't believe it. We don't have to be like this. We decide who we are. That's what you told him, Nora. Oh. Oh. It is mercy. Oh. I think they're gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, well, I'm gonna beat the hell out of him, but I don't know. Or throw him in the pit. No, we wouldn't have won. It was Devon! It was Devon. Oh, you absolute low, low life scum, man. A horrible way to go, though. Horrible! Yeah. They would have just, like, yeah, executed him if they wanted, but I don't know. Yeah. I I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm not staying here. No. I will see. 
Yeah. Over at Trent. What a, an interesting episode. It was really, a, again, you know, when they do this thing with flashbacks of people who are hurt, you know, who have head injuries, you don't know exactly what's happening. They just piece it together in a in a weird way, like maybe chronolog chronologically not very uh, clear, but still at the end we got it. You know, we got the whole story. And I was also never doubted him a second. Like it, it felt the family, it felt like that Amanda with the ideas she was putting out, that there was something a little bit wrong with what she was saying, you know. So yeah, it, it straight away put the doubt for me into her, not into Devon. Yeah, it felt like a setup. Um, yeah. Just by what we were gleaming, uh, seeing it all pan out. I mean, it, it's it was very interesting. This is one thing I have to say. I appreciate about Tales of the Walking Dead is in different regions of the country. Maybe sometimes. I mean, we haven't had a different area of the world yet, have we? Not, Not really. That I, no. I can recall, but I mean, all, all through the states, all these different places we can go, and how it affects everyone differently. Like this town seemed very. Uh, I know, like witch hunty. It felt like Salem. Yes. <laughs> it felt yeah. like so, and also a little bit. It felt like the way it was shot and the coloration of it felt like the village that that um, the village M yeah, Night yeah. Shyamalan movie I watched. So yeah, it was like it was like that, and it was very interesting, very interesting. Not not at all boring or uninteresting. It was great. I really enjoyed it. the The mystery of it, trying to figure it out as it was going along. Like, why was he handcuffed? And they left that right near the end <laughs> to, to say why yeah. he was handcuffed <laughs> and how how she was dead and stuff like that even though you got like kind of glimpses of her dead face and stuff i don't know it was just weird it, i never thought it would have panned out like that and no. all these kids going missing as well so it was um, um uh, i i, I, I kind of like nora and her face i latched onto amanda didn't really was, latch onto her face yeah it was more cold face i just kind of dismissed it because i felt like it's obvious it's too obvious um as, as right. also suspecting mm. him's too obvious uh, but she was the one who came down and put the bag over her head. And that's why I said I didn't really pay much attention to it. Because, <laughs> um, like, like I said, you don't even know if it's real. Uh, you're just sitting there exactly. thinking, wait, what? 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 Uh, but, yeah, uh, they're even going to let her son kill Nora's son. Yeah. That's twisted. That's really twisted. And, and sicker than I could have ever come up with. He woke up and had to figure it all out again. What happened? Just, while being injured in the head. <laughs> yeah, what, what, what happened to me? And it's like eight, nine, seven. Wow, what's that? Oh, it's an address. Well, you've been there. He doesn't know. <laughs> it, was, it was actually really, really good. As a standalone piece of art or work, I think it was really good. Um, yeah. yeah. The, it's, the Walking Dead, it did not feel like, but the, you know, they can do what they want, right? It's their, it's their property. Uh, I can't wait to see the last one. We've only got one more. And then, we, then we're going to go back into familiar territory. Uh, first one, Negan and Maggie. Yeah, um, Dead City. I know you're really excited for that one. Yes. Um, but yeah, I've got nothing else to say on it. What about you? Yeah, I'm all done with this one as well. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, we'll catch you in the last episode of Tales of the Walking Dead. Bye. Cheers. Bye, guys.